this is our uh, conduit and the process is fairly straightforward put your conduit somewhere flat and give it a whack straighten that up even and you find that you need to flatten quite a, a large section at the end it's not just the very tip because you've got to get the hole in and you've got to get the bend Now they say not to leave this straight, uh, but to be honest, I don't think it matters uh, because because of the, because this is um, chamfering down. Uh, I, I can't see that that matters, but whatever.
Okay, here let's do a quick um, example uh, of the bend angle. Uh, I'm on uh, Geodome at the moment uh, and this is the uh, bend angle calculation page. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you can click through and find that. <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll do an example. Um, let's do a two frequency dome. What you need to do is you need to put in the radius 1 then click calculate <clears throat> and this will give you your basic chord factor because a chord factor is uh, the radius divided by the length of that um, of a strut on any given dome. <clears throat> so strut A we have 0.55 and strut B we have 0.62 so if we go to the bend calculation page, there's a bit here about um, uh, explains what it is and how it's get how we calculate it. But there's a table at the bottom. Uh, let me just remind myself what we were looking at. Uh, 0.55 and 0.62. So if we look down the chord factor table, 0.55 there, that gives us a bend angle of 16 degrees. Uh, and what was the other one? 0.62 just switch back 0.62 uh, just go to the nearest one 0.618 that's the nearest and that's 18 degrees um, that's a two frequency so on a two frequency you have a 16 degree bend angle and an 18 degree bend angle let's quickly do another one this is a three frequency so we've got three strut lengths uh, we've got two that are neat and practically exactly the same and a, and a shorter one uh, 0.35 and 0.4 again if we go down to 0.35 which is this one that's a 10 degree bend angle and 0.4 was the other one so 0.399 11.5 degree angle and the other one was 0.41 so one's 11.5 and one's 12 and that's basically uh, how you work out the bend angle on the end of your conduit pipe. 